today. I'm going to do a, a fire lighting demonstration using a flint steel and tinderbox. Now I know I've done it before, but a little bit more explanation this time. Uh, I had a, a, a message left me from from a chap who said uh, he's seen people make fire better than I do and uh, much faster. Um, well, you may well have, and uh, there may well be people that can make fire better than I can. Um, <laughs> that's not a problem for me. Um, however, I would like to point out a few things. Um, one, in most demonstrations that you see on flint and steel, people are using charred cloth, or what they call char cloth. Now, charred cloth was only used in towns, in the homes, and perhaps if uh, um, a family, a gentleman, was travelling from, say, his townhouse to his country house, he might take some charred cloth with him. But woodsmen, out in the woods, or woodswomen for that matter, did not. Um, charred cloth runs out sooner or later and once you use it it's used um, no one's gonna no one would have I would have thought would have would have carried a lot of cloth with them to make charred cloth and they're certainly not going to start cutting up their clothes to make it the other point I'd like to make is that charred cloth when it was made originally in the 18th century, 17th century, was not made in a tin like they do it these days. These days they put it in a tin, bang a hole in the lid, put it in the fire and they use it as a small oven. And that's quite a legitimate way to make it. I don't have a problem with that. But the problem is, is that what comes out of that tin is perfect. Okay? It catches a spark first time. Originally it was not made like that. It was put on a fork or a stick of wood and it was held in front of the fire. Some of it charred, some of it burnt and some of it didn't char sufficiently to catch a spark. So it was pretty rough stuff. But it did work. And they would only have used the rags of the household. Okay, After the after the clothes had been been worn and worn out, they then went to cleaning rags, and then after they went to cleaning rags, they probably went to a worse cleaning job rag, and then when they got right down to they were just falling to pieces and they were no good, then they'd make them into tinder. So I just want to point that fact out, that uh, what you see in most demonstrations is pretty much staged, okay? Um, I don't use charred cloth. I use plant tinders. And I don't use specially teased rope or anything like that to, to light. That that's I can do that and it'll make it it'll go fast and it'll look good and that's fine. But the fact is that when you're out in the bush, you're out in the woods, you're not going to be doing that. Okay? You're going to be charring plant tinders and most of the time you're going to be using dried grass for a kindling. Okay? Okay. We'll, uh, we'll move on from there. And I'll, uh, I'll just give you a quick demonstration. Uh, I haven't really prepared this. I've, I've taken it straight out of my, uh, straight out of my belt pouch, out of my, uh, out of my fireworks bag and uh, it'll either work like it would have worked or it won't and if it doesn't well then I'd have to find another method of doing it um, which of course I already know um, so if it doesn't catch a spark for me that's not a problem okay there are other ways I can still use a flint and steel for making a fire so let's get down and just just try and see how this goes okay here's my tinder box my fire bag. Uh, 
there is a bit of uh, sizal rope that I carry in there. And that's quite a legitimate use. But, but as you would know, that kindling, once it's burnt, it's burnt. And that's it, it's gone. So I won't use that. I'll use this. And we'll see how we go. Okay, there's my flint. I'm just getting my steel out of the out of my uh, pouch. Let's see how we can go here. Okay. That's caught a spark, and it's uh, it's going merrily. Can you see that? Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, whoa, there we go, I had to drop that fairly quickly. And I've got a bucket here next to me where it can burn itself out. Okay, you can see that wasn't that hard. Not that hard at all. Now that's still going, okay, that's still smouldering. So what I do now, if you can see this, it's hot. I close it down, okay. Close the tender box, it's pretty hot. So that tinder now will, uh, will be there for next time. Now if that was charred cloth, I probably wouldn't be able to do that. Um, it was, uh, it would, um, it would probably tend to uh, burn out fairly quickly. Um, if you had enough in there, sure, you could save it, certainly, by closing the lid down and smothering it. But to my mind, it works better when you've got plant tinders. One of the other things that people don't realise is that when you make charred cloth the real way, you remember I said that some of it's charred, some of it burns, and some of it isn't charred enough. Well, the parts that aren't charred enough when you blow on the charred cloth to get a glow to make fire, it will very often set fire to the parts that weren't completely charred. So if I'm using, say, a tinderbox and I want, to, I want to light a candle, for instance, and I've got some charred cloth in there that I've charred in front of the fire, I'll be dripping wax onto the charred cloth. But sometimes the parts that weren't charred properly will even set fire quicker than what the uh, than what the wax cloth will. Um, so in that way it's actually better. Uh, better than doing it the modern way. But anyway, that's it. You saw it. For my liking, that I think that's pretty pretty quick. Um, not only is it pretty quick, but it's the way it was done. Um, there's no point making fire in in seconds using staged materials. If once you get out there, it doesn't work. 
um, you run out of the good stuff, you run out of the good charred cloth in the tin, you, you run out of the, uh, the uh, teased rope that you were using and then what? Um, to my way of thinking, there's, uh, it, it, it's a good idea if you can take good stuff with you, fine. But you must learn to use the other stuff as well. Okay, so that when you run out of your teased rope and you run out of your good charred cloth, um, you know what to do. Okay, you can make your own tinder and you can find your own kindling and you can make fire. Okay, thank you.